Hi, I'll be showing you very quickly how to produce p-values for t and chi-square values in R, Archimander and SPSS. Let's start. Here we are in R and I've loaded the Archimander interface using the library brackets R, C, M, D, R, close brackets, and we have a graphical interface. Um, imagine we've got a t value of 0.87 with degrees of freedom 19 and we want to find the p value for it. Before we do that, I would actually like to draw the graph of the t distribution when it has degrees of freedom 19. So to do that, I actually go to distributions, continuous distributions, t distribution, and it says plot t distribution. So this isn't finding the p-value, but it's helping us understand what the p-value is when we obtain it. So we say we have degrees of freedom 19 for this particular t-value, and we click OK. And there is our t-distribution for degrees of freedom 19. And we say we've got a t-value of 0.87. So we can draw a line in there, 0.87, just by going back here and typing one very simple command, add line, bracket b per vertical equals and the value is 0.87 close bracket but remember we're interested in actually both sides of that value we're interested in any t value that's more extreme than 0.87 so what we mean by more extreme in mind is either greater than 0.87 in the positive direction or less than minus 0.87 so we just repeat that and put a minus sign there as well run that now if we go back to our graph we'll have two lines showing the bits that we want to find the probabilities for so we're going to find the probability for the area there and the area there so to do that remember that the pt function in r produces the values to the left so what we're going to do is produce a value to the left there of that first value we're interested in which is at minus 0.87 and then multiply it by 2. So we're going to ask for is the p value for the t value of minus 0.87 and times it by 2. So to do that, go back to our, our commander and where it says distributions, continuous distributions, t distribution, t probability. And the value, as I said, is minus 0.87 and we know degrees of freedom. 19 in this particular instance. So I click OK and there's our value. And we want to do is multiply that by 2. So you can either use R as a calculator or you can actually ask it again to calculate it. We can also do this directly in R very easily. Open up the R window. Here we are. And it's just very simply it's 2 times and the function remember to get the p value is pt for the t distribution. Let's say the value we want, which is minus 0.87. And we just say what the degrees of freedom was. It was 19 for this particular one. Close bracket. And there's our value. 0.3951. Now in SPSS to find the same p value. We actually have to make sure we've got a value in a cell in this process. So we just put anything in there, one, in the first variable. And we'll call it a sensible thing. We'll call it pvar. Stands p variable. And now if we go to transform compute variable, transform compute variable, and our target variable is going to be pval. And what we're going to do is use this cdf function cumulative distribution function cdf there written and we're talking about a t value cdf plus t there we are double click on it and the first thing it asks for is the actual t value we're putting in and we know that's minus 0.87 and the degrees of freedom is 19. and what we've got to do there is times that by 2 does that only give us the bottom end? We want both ends. Continue. Change the existing variable, yes. And close that down. 
and there's our value. If we go here, we can actually make decimal places greater to see what's going on. Point three nine five, same as in R. R in SPSS will find a chi square value at the same time. So if we go back to that box, compute variable box, this time the cumulative distribution function which gives us a p value for a chi square value. And we assume we've got a chi square value of 5.11 with degrees of freedom 6. So we go back down here to the cumulative distribution functions and we find chi square. Double click on it and again it asks for a value 5.11 we say and the beta freedom is 6 but remember with a chi-square we don't multiply it by 2 and what we're interested in is actually the right hand side which is equivalent to the p-value so what we want to do is say take the total area take away that value to the left and we'll be left with the value on the right so it's 1 minus that click OK change the existing variable, yes and there's the value that's 0.52978 and we do the same in R and R command just to double check so back in R command the first thing I'd like to do is actually draw the distribution so we go to distributions continuous distributions and we're talking about the chi-square distribution there it is plot chi-square distribution so it's distributions continuous distributions chi-square distribution plot chi-square distribution okay Degrees of freedom, we said we had six for this particular value we're interested in. We want to plot the density plot. OK. And open up the window. And there we are. And again, we can actually draw a vertical line to show where we want. And we just say, have line, bracket. And the vertical line we want is at 5.11 and here we are so we're interested in all the air around the curve to the right of that line for our probability value so to get that we'll first get it in our commander we go back to distributions continuous distributions chi-squared distribution and where it says chi-squared probabilities use that and the variable value we've got is 511 degrees of freedom is 6 and we want the right hand side not the left hand side and when it means the upper tail it means the right hand side there so click OK and there's our value 0 0.5297 which is exactly the same as we got in SPSSS notice the code it produced there copy that go back into R just paste it so what we've done is P chi square, don't need that. See, that's the trouble with automated code, it produces things you don't need, it's just one value. We could have asked, so now we've got what we want. It's P chi square, the chi square value 5.11, reason freedom 6, and we know we want the right hand side, okay? And that's the same as we had from our commands, obviously. It's as simple as that. No need for tables anymore.